I've been one of the original brewmasters when we first opened up uh, June 2009. When we first opened up, we decided to make four styles, a stout, a porter, a brown or dark ale, and an India pale ale. They're all handcrafted period beers. Very simple two vessel brewing system. No electricity is used in the process, no chemicals, no preservatives. Uh, they're naturally carbonated, so they're pretty much flat by our standards, right? So don't expect a lot of carbonization in a 19th century style beer. Remember, beer is all about the flavor, not the carbon dioxide. We serve these beers at cellar temperature, never ice cold. And the reason for that is if you serve a beer too cold, it'll actually numb your taste buds. And when your taste buds are numb, you can't taste anything. These beers are loaded with all kinds of flavor, right? So you want to let them warm up so you can enjoy the nice flavors. The first step in making beer is filling our mash tun with a predetermined amount of hot water. And what you're doing is now taking your barley that's been crushed, placing it in the mash tun, and you're heating it up now to between 60 and 68 degrees Celsius. That is the ideal temperature to convert the starch into a fermentable sugars. The enzymes that were formed in the malting process will break it down to a fermentable sugar. Because remember, barley has absolutely no sugar in there. It's all 100% starch. If you don't convert it, you'll just end up with barley tea. So we'll let it sit in the mash tun for about an hour, after which you've got full conversion. We'll then infuse the mash tun with some hot water. That hot water is now gonna draw the sugars out of the barley. Very carefully, I'll open up the valve in the front of the mash tun. We'll start separating the liquid from the barley. The liquid at this stage is now called a sweet wort. We'll transfer it into our brew kettle where we'll bring it up to a good, bigger strolling boil. This is now when we add our third ingredient, which are hops. So hops are a dry herb that give the beer the bitter flavor and the flowery aroma. But more important to note, they're also a natural preservative certain oils and resins in there that help prevent bacteria from farming so not quite as important as it was back in the 19th century because back then they had no refrigeration so anytime you could put something in your beer to make it last longer was definitely welcome. We'll then boil the wort for 60 minutes we'll then transfer it from the kettle up into our cooling ship where we'll crash cool it down to room temperature as quickly as possible. Now cooling ship is nothing more than a shallow copper tray or a bath and what you're doing is taking a boiling hot liquid spreading it really thin over a very large surface area, letting it cool naturally. It's also the most dramatic part of the brewing process. As you'll see later on, the whole room is gonna fill with steam as it's cooling off. Now on the very top, we've got our hop back because at this stage, everything is gravity fed. You don't want those hops floating in your beer. It's gonna cause you all kinds of grief when you're transferring it from vessel to vessel. When it does cool down, we'll then transfer it into one of the barrels. We'll then add our last ingredient, which is yeast. I can now go wash my hands because the yeast is gonna take over. I actually make wort and the yeast takes the wort and turns it into beer. We'll take the sugars and convert it into carbon dioxide and alcohol. Five to seven days later, you'll have beer fit to drink.